another side that I always associated with Chicago, and I wanted to get your take on it, which is the kind of real emphasis on the interplay between theory and empirical work, mm -hmm. that the, the two weren't disjoint from right. one another, that right. it wasn't just about social measurement on the one hand and, and uh, economic theory on the other hand. Yeah. Um, that seemed to have cut across fields here, that people in, in most fields here really recognized that it was hard to do empirical work well without thinking about the underlying theory mm -hmm. and hard to do theory way, well without at least tying it in some ways to data. Um, how does the BFI and, and the MFI before it fit into that tradition, I think, of Chicago? There's environments, economic environments, in which you know, we have econometrics is this body of people doing econometric theory without thinking and, and letting other people worry, you know, worry about the applications. Or here we've got the best deep thinkers in economic theory without really exploring why, why we need the depth and the like. And the danger in that type of viewpoint is you can shoot off in, ta in intellectual tangents and, and, and you can have people, you know, reinforcing each other's activities with no one really, you know, asking the harder questions of, you know, how does this help us think about the world in much better ways. Um, I think the BFI has been good in trying to, you know, some of the conference we've been doing has been cer certainly with aims like that in mind. We've sponsored this conference of uh, young econometricians interested in applied work coming here. It's been primarily in the microeconomic side of things. Uh, with the idea that more senior scholars with, you know, um, with broader perspectives of things would discuss their work. And that was kind of, you know, I viewed that as the aim of that, is to try to, you know, get these younger scholars not just thinking about, you know, proving the latest theorem in mathematical statistics, but actually figuring out how does this connect to economics in an important way. And as I see a lot of the, what I find exciting developments in economic theory, I, it's, 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 they've become exciting because of their connections, because they made me think about the world in very different ways. And the same thing holds true in econometric theory. That, that it's, you know, um, yes, maybe it's elegant and, and other things, but it also makes me think about things in much more clear ways. And so I do hope, and I certainly wish that that's been one of our aims, is to have the BFI work against the type of specialization of view and to encourage kind of, um, and to instead encourage this kind of thinking about the so what of things, about connections between theory, between data. I can't, you know, I can't, this mentality that just let the data speak. I think in economics we seldom have that luxury because the data, is, uh, you know, it's the, the kind of measurement without theory maybe sometimes is mildly interesting, but it only progresses because someone else down the road starts thinking about the so what of it. And, and, and so I think the interplay between the two is really, really truly important. It seems to me, I mean, another point is that, that you kind of need the theory to know how to measure. Yeah. I mean, it's like you, you don't even know exactly what to measure without yeah. the theory. You Absolutely. Know? And, and, uh, and that, that's true in just about every field in economics. Yeah. And I think I'm a labor economist. I see a lot of work in labor today where people have forgotten some of those lessons. Another yeah. thing that seems to have been, I think, not unique to Chicago, but gotten more emphasis at Chicago than elsewhere is kind of thinking about the world in terms of markets. Mm -hmm. And I, if you look at modern, uh, lab, modern economics generally, markets seem to have diminished somewhat in, in their roles. Maybe not in finance and other areas, but in a lot of other places, and for example, in labor, it's a lot of it is very individual oriented, not thinking about kind of a market equilibrium right. time, times of approach. Mm -hmm. approach. Absolutely. Um, what do you think accounts for that in economics? Is it kind of the data availability of a lot of yeah. micro level data that people do can think, do yeah, those kind yeah. of exercises with? Yeah, so I do think new data becomes available. That's a very exciting opportunity. And then people plunge for the so-called low hanging fruit. And that's kind of doing these individualistic characterizations of things. But, but at the end of the day, the type of questions that really interest us are, are, are ones about, well, the data speaks a lot about this particular aspect and we need to figure out how to take it over here. And part of taking it over here is how do people interact? How do they interact in markets? And then what's the interplay between markets and, and uh, economic policy? Um, are, are they at loggerheads against each other or are they complementary? Exactly. Um, and I think it seems to me a lot of the really, truly important substantive questions 
make us go from this very individualistic data summary characterization of behavior to to um, much more broader questions about the interaction, the market structure, its implications for that, and, 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 then, and then how does that play out in terms of outcomes and, and the scope for policy. Mm -hmm.